Okay, if I had to give you five tips to get better results with TIG welding stainless steel, this is what they would be. Pay attention to the heat affected zone. This will be the area directly surrounding the welding area. We want this area to be as narrow and consistent as possible. If it looks wide and crazy like this, this means your heat input has become excessive. Try practicing shorter passes or narrower ones. If the heat affected zone is looking excessive, we want to decrease the overall heat input into the base material as much as we can. It'll be easier to practice welding exercises this way, and you will see the heat affected zone looking narrow and consistent like this here. Use the filler material correctly. A lot of people find it very common that the filler material sticks to the base plate. Feed to this area here. It's roughly halfway from the leading edge of the puddle to the center of the puddle right here. Feeding to this area here is going to cause the filler material to break off much more cleanly and it is not going to stick to the base material. Also make sure that you are feeding in line with the travel direction. Don't feed from the side like this or any other angles. We want to feed in line with the travel direction. This is one that a lot of people have assumed that they have done correctly. But a lot of people get stuck on this one without knowing it and this is ensuring that your gear is put together correctly. Make sure that all of the fittings and pieces are put together correctly in your torch. It is so easy to have one of these pieces in your torch done up incorrectly or left a little bit loose without you knowing it. If any of these aren't done up correctly or if one of the adapters you are using is not correct for the right type of setup you are using, your gas is going to leak and your coverage is going to suffer. Also make sure that everything is clean. Make sure that your cup and your screen is free of any splatter or debris. Get rid of any contamination or any kind of splatter and your gas coverage is going to be much more smooth and the puddle stability is gonna be way better as well. Make sure that you are using the correct amount of gas for the cup that you are using. A lot of people just assume that stainless steel needs a lot of gas and all honestly it does, but it depends on what size of cup you are using. If you are using something like this big one here from Edge Welding Cups, Obviously, this is going to require more gas than if you are using something smaller like this. If your gas coverage is too high through a cup size like this one here, you're going to notice that your puddle is wobbling around and being pushed all over the place. Big cup, more gas, smaller cup, less gas. Save yourself some argon and prevent that puddle from wobbling all over the place. All right, back to the filler material here. Make sure you are using the correct amount. If you aren't using enough filler material, you're gonna notice your stuff is getting hot and overheating. Your passes are gonna to become too wide. They will become flat or concave. This will indicate that you are not using enough filler. If you are using too much filler material, you're gonna see inadequate fusion to the base plate like this here. It's gonna look like stupid hard edges like these ones right here. We want them to be nice and smooth and transition into the base material like this stuff here. If these tips have helped you, take my free TIG welding class online. It's a fully blown, fully immersive 45 minute TIG welding class. Register for it right now and have fun welding.